how is left shoot possible? And how do you do it? And what's actually going on while you're doing it? And why does people do it? Hello buddy, and welcome back for another video. This time we're going to talk a little bit about left shooting. <clears throat> Sorry. So I got a lot of comments on about, I kind of tried to explain how a left shoot is possible. And as you saw, the, the first uh, clip in the video is kind of slowed down in a way so you guys would probably understand it. And if you look closely, you'll see that one of the TNT is moving and that way it's going to shoot the TNT the other way. So we have three things, three things that's going to make this possible. <coughs> so we have the left shoot, uh, sorry, we have the hammer down, we have the splitter, and we have the left shoot. So uh, let's let's go slow, let's go slow here. So while we're inside the cannon, you know, this is the hammer down, and this is the 60 stack, by the way. So this is the hammer down. Right here, you're going to have the left shoot, and this is 15 TNT. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, almost. That is up and all, and the bigger cannon is 15, but here's only 11, but that's fine. This is the booster for the left shoot. So what happens is that when this ignites and this ignites, this one is going to explode first. It's going to push all the sand, uh, sorry, TNT, to this piston that is uh, not, it's not out, but it's going to get pushed here and it's going to push it out. So that's the splitter, right? Oh, sorry. This is the splitter and this is the left shoot, sorry. So the splitter, the only things the splitter is good for is splitting the TNT. And that is exactly why I put it in the middle here. That's because it splits the hammer down and the left shoot. So this is possible because we don't have the TNT wheel line on. And that is what makes it possible because the splitter here is, it haven't been TNT corrected. So that means that it's allowed it to go in between the TNT and kind of split it in a way. Um, it's it's uh, it is hard for me to explain. If I had a Kappa client, I would probably be able to to show you better. But I can't record with a Kappa client on my link, so I would probably be able to to show you better. But the splitter is what splits the hammer down and the left shoot TNT. As you saw in the in the small video, you kind of see the splitter a little bit going a little bit to the let me see that that will be to the right, and then explodes it. So when it does, this one explodes first. And what it does is that it is splitting these two away from each other, but not a far distance, maybe like half a block. And then the left, uh, sorry, the left shoot blows up instantly after the little splitter. And that is what allows the hammer down to fly over to the, let's just make, oh shit. Let's just make a, a wall here. And that is what allows the hammer down to fly over here and burst down the, t uh, sorry, sand. And that is kind of how how it is how it is working. Uh, let's look into a little bit how what the ticks are. So the splitter is always a full repeater plus a comparator, as you see here. Let me check. Uh, yeah, a full repeater and then a comparator. And that you don't want to change that. Like that is that is that all the time. And after that, we have one tick on this uh, repeater right here. And then we have one repeater on all of these. So that means we have a repeater here. We have a repeater here and it goes up and activate everything. So that is kind of like two ticks, two, yeah, two ticks. Uh, yeah, kind of. And uh, that is how that is working. Uh, it's because the splitter, of course, have to ignite way before this one does. Uh, well, well, not way before, but you see like almost at one tick and repeater. That's the that's like kind of the, the time different or ticks different if you could say so So that is kind of how it works and um, I hope you guys understood it a little bit more uh, And if you want to uh, make your own left shooter You will have to have the splitter you have to need the left shooter you need a hammer down and of course sand and all the other shit But that is kind of how you do it and just remember that this piston right here goes between what well, goes between the slab bust and the hammer down so it kind of have like a free space right here and this is where it is like it, it i don't i'm pretty sure it's 
It's there on all cannons. Let me see if I have. Uh, I don't think I only have my cannons here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, um, yeah, I only have my cannons right here. Let's. No, I can't really show you because I only have my my skims in right now. But that is kind of how how it works, and. Uh, it's possible basic because we don't have a TNT we line on, so the the split of TNT is kind of off from everything else, and that is how how it's possible. And now let's go over to why people are using it. Um, so let's say that this red here is the base, and uh, of course you're gonna have your main wall. And I'm not saying this is how everybody built bases. Normally, at the moment, everybody's just doing like 50 webs. But this is how it used to be when you, it wasn't possible to left shoot. And that's why it became so such a big deal. It's basically because people didn't really protect their walls. So normally, when they did walls, they were only doing it um, like straight walls with no uh, corner pillars. Like I'm doing right here with, if, if the lag stopped. And right here is kind of how they did and then they just had walls out, 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 as far as the eyes can go. And that is how you first started up doing your base. And that is a long time ago. That's way before the left shooter was invented. And this is kind of how people had their walls. And that allowed them to shoot into this wall right here and reverse scatter. So the water will come down and create a backboard. And then they get used to get into the base with a left shooter. And then people started using pillars. But then again, that is a lot of pillars you need to do if you want to protect all your walls. Like that's 161 walls, right? On each side. That is that is that's a lot of lot of fucking pillars. And that is basically why love shooting is still a good idea, because people don't have the, the pillars to do this. Um based on the time it's going to take to create all these pillars because pillars all in all is a is just annoying to create and that is why people are still using the left shoot and that is why I am re releasing my left shoots based on because people need it uh, <laughs> because people are actually dumb enough not to do uh, wrap arounds and not and dumb enough to not do um not to do corner pillars and that is why I released them, but it's kind of how you see how it looks out. And this right here is the wall. Uh, and normally people would do square pillars, but uh, you don't really need to do that if you want an equal amount, equal amount of pillars on each side of your... Uh, yeah, each side, you know? Uh, that means that when you see this one, there is only one pillar, but there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 walls. But if you go from in here, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13 walls. So it's not really a big difference. It's more even like one or two walls. And that is why people do these square ones here. But again, you cannot, you simply cannot have pillars for all your walls. At some point, you have to stop to do corner pillars because, or else, it's gonna be like ten thousand pillars, and that is why people are using left shooters because people are not protecting the the bay like server so does the walls all the way out to the limit of the twenty buffer or fifteen buffer or whatever you are server you're playing on, and that is a lot of pillars. You look already there. There is like almost fifty pillars, and that is a lot of pillars already there. And each pillar, like each second, I think it's two pillars is one lava buckets. But uh, that's why they're using it. And that is kind of to go here, shoot into the pillars, and then left shoot into the base like this. And really, this kind of cannon kind of stopped when the midair stacker got released. And because the midair stacker does something else, instead of going to the pillars, it is going between the pillars, right here, as you see right here, going between the pillars, and it's going to create a stack in the middle of nowhere. So there's no, it's not a backboard or anything, it's just a stack in nowhere. So, what can you use this to? Then you can take your left shooter, bypass all the walls and all the pillars, go into the water backboard that's already here because the middle stacker, and then left shoot into the base. But, people figured out that 
they will have to protect themselves for this. So they made a lot of fucking webs. And I'm saying like my my bases have at least fifty webs. And that's what they started to do. They started to to adding these to kind of prevent meta stackers and left shooters to enter your base. And you see now there's no way to get into the base because you're gonna meet walls anyways. But it's still useful because you can't have wraps all the way out to your buffer uh, based on you need alts to load the chunks. You need to wait for the lava to go down and sometimes you don't load the chunks properly and the lava gets stuck and create a, a lava source and all that shit is coming into play and that is kind of hard. So 50 webs is kind of the limit for what you can do. After 40, 44, it's kind of getting hard to, to load all the chunks, but uh, one or two alts should do the trick. But um, this is basically why people are using left shooters. And even though it have 20 reps, it is still worth going left shoot. But as a left shooter, it can be hard to aim for something because you can't really, uh, you can't really, um, how can I say this? You can't really do the same things with a left shoot than you can with a straight shoot. I know a lot of you guys, oh, well, you can do the same, but not really the exact same thing. You have a lot more control when, when straight shooting than you have if, when you're left shooting. And this right here is also a dangerous way to do it. Um, because when you mid-air stack, you are, you are using this stack here. And if this stack gets, gets uh, taken down, by a member of the faction, the raid is over. It, it's simply over because you cannot left shoot on not a, um, on nothing. So the raid is over. That's it. So if you didn't have the time to get into some of the vaults and shit, that's the end. Unless you have some crew breaks and stuff like that. But that's basically the end right there. So that is why people are using left shooters, and that and this is also why people are not using them. Uh, it's very to base to base of what you want to do, uh, but. I'm releasing these cannons because there's a lot of guys that doesn't really have the corner pills and the wraps uh, they need to defend themselves and that is why it's easier to easier and cheaper and more time saving to left shoot but that is kind of how I do it and I think I wrapped up the last things about the left shooters here as you see I created all these cannons here from the private collection and I'm on my way doing all of these left shooters here and it's working fine, and right here, I tried to explain a friend here what the left shooter is. And that is basically why I made the video actually, because he was on the channel and said, um, how do I left shoot, and how does it work, and stuff like that. But uh, I, I guess I kind of told you how to do it. I hope that I t at least helped you a little bit. Uh, but if you're still a little bit confused, you could go watch the video I had first in my, in my uh, video here. Or the first clip in this video and you can kind of see I slowed it down as much as I can and you can kind of see the TNT kind of moving a little bit to the right and then exploding and then the splitter exploded then the hammer down got fired to the wall and it stacked down and it, I know it's a little bit confusing and it wasn't easy for me the first time I was about to learn left shoot it was a fucking nightmare but a good friend of mine actually uh, took a clip of him doing the left shoot and at the wall exactly as I did and slowed it down as much as I could and then then I actually kind of said oh okay that is how it actually works and then he kind of explained me forward and back but this is like this is like months uh, years back so it's kind of it's kind of out of play right now but uh, a lot of things have happened to left shooters in in that time period but this is how you do it and I hope it helped you out and if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And it will really help me if you also subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and if you like this video. And yeah, I think that's just about it. My name is Dexter and I'm out.